Hey guys, I am the 50s Kid. Welcome to another video on the E46. In this video, we're going to be replacing the combination fuel filter and fuel pressure regulator. Let's get started. So I've got the vehicle raised up and supported on jack stands in the front. And we need to get this access panel off. There are two eight millimeters right here, here and here. So there are two more eight millimeters up in here and I gotta remove them manually. There we go, that's what they look like. Looks like I missed one more eight millimeter screw back here on the bottom of, of the cover. So this is the combination fuel filter and the fuel pressure regulator on the front of it. This is the vacuum line that comes from that little F connector on the upper intake. Um, you should replace this vacuum line, by the way, if you have not done so already. I've replaced it, I'll, you know, but it was it was pretty dry, crumbling, and cracking, just like all the vacuum lines on my vehicle when I first got it. So we need to disconnect these lines. But first, you know what? My, it's a good practice to get your the the new fuel filter that you have and make sure that it's the same part. So here we go. The old one is in a Kaiser. AK-10 BDE and looks like what I have is an AK-10 BDE same brand cool well, I'm assuming that this thing is just gonna pee all over my garage floor when I disconnect it so I've got my little drain pan situated beneath it I'm gonna pull off the vacuum line I'll tuck it out of the way for now bad. All right, let's let that drain. 25 cents, 50 cents, one dollar. Cool, we're down to just drops. Let's move on to the next. I think I'm going to disconnect the clamp holding the filter onto the body of the car. It's a 10. that seem to work okay just comes away so uh, get these two clamps this that might be smaller than a six we need a Phillips or a flat head I should say if you haven't figured it out by now I live in the takeoff path of an airport. All my life. Growing up, I was living in the landing path. Now I'm in the takeoff path. It's really nice it's 7 in the morning when all of them are queued up and ready to take off. <laughs> okay, I cannot see what I'm doing. This line on the outside, by the way, is the input line. This is the return line. One. Does this one work? No, it doesn't want to work. Why is it smaller than a five, BMW? Or why is it smaller than a six? I don't know. I was thinking to myself that these things are kind of deteriorated, but they're not. They're they're purposely sort of made like this. There must be a special tool that BMW likes to use for these. So remember, the, the middle goes on the passenger side 
and the the one on the end goes on the driver's side. You know, this might have been easier with the lines with the uh, fuel filters still attached to the vehicle. Note to self. All right, there we go. There's one. Two will just pull off. There we go. Alrighty. I'm wondering if that's not just going to keep draining by siphon action, so I think I'd better hurry up. A little rubber collar on here at the very least. So I've just replaced those clamps with some uh, normal clamps with normal heads that you can use a normal socket to tighten. Okay, and it looks like this front one already is a normal one, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this vacuum line little foam piece actually goes here. You know what? I'm going to leave the cover off for now. I'm going to go ahead and test the vehicle, make sure it's working before I put everything back together. Let's prime the fuel pump a couple of times. That high pitch noise is the fuel pump. So it looks like my audio dropped out in this clip. Uh, you can see here that I'm putting the panel back on. Those are the two fasteners right there that you saw in the original video. And that one I'm putting in right there, that's the one you couldn't see. That's the third one on that side. Here are the two that you did see. There we go. And those other two on the front of it just go in. Pretty simple. So check this out. Look at what came out of the fuel filter. This black gunk. I mean, I, this is either the dirt that had been accumulated in the filter or the uh, activated carbon that's inside the filter had just kind of broken down over time and it's now coming out. But I'm pouring this out of the, the outside. This is the side that's going to the fuel rail. So this stuff was just free to go through the engine all this time. So I'm really glad I changed this filter because I mean, just look at that. All right, well that was a successful replacement of the fuel filter on an E46. Thanks again for watching.